Okay. That's great. So again, Dave, what I was just mentioning is that uh, we want to talk a little bit about the okay. building preservation, structure preservation, what's being done in Brainerd right now, what the initiatives, what's the attitude right now, you know, from a community on doing uh, structural preservation and restoration. Yeah, in the last handful of years, we've been really lucky that uh, kind of this next generation of uh, people are stepping up as leaders in the community. And the thing that's been interesting about that is that uh, a lot of those people have ties to the history of our city and have really uh, made an effort to try and get after the preservation of some of these buildings. Obviously with the historic water tower that's behind us here, uh, there's a, a need to uh, be proactive as, a, as opposed to reactive in saving some of these buildings. And uh, that one in particular, uh, the roof was taken off in the 70s and it needs to have a roof put back on it to kind of keep that integrity of the bowl. And uh, we're lucky that there's support. There's support not just from the community, but there's support from the leaders as well. So why preserve the water tower? What, what's the historic, or why is it historic? So it, one of the craziest things about that water tower is it's the first of its kind. Uh, it was the first continuously poured uh, water tower use for use in a municipality. And I can say that again, because that was actually really terrible, but uh, yeah. Uh, it's actually really unique because it's the first of its kind. It is the first continuously poured uh, bowl for a water tower for use for a municipality. It was actually designed by a gentleman named L.P. Wolf, and he went on to make three of these water towers, but Brainerd was the first. And the thing that we've learned in our research of looking at it is uh, it was more than just the water tower, it was this idea of water systems in general. At that time, water had uh, kind of a, a bad quality to it and our systems were not that great. Uh, we also had a lot of fire in our area. And so there was this concerted effort to have, uh, from a medical standpoint, not just from an insurance standpoint, but to try and have better quality water for citizens. And we were just lucky that we were the first of its kind you a question. So where are the other two water towers that were designed by the same architect? So there's one down at Pipestone, which a lot of people know, and we hear it all the time. The other one is actually located in Rochester on Pill Hill. And if you look at the three side by side, Brainerd's has its original structure. The second one in Pipestone is very similar, only half the size. Uh, and then the one in Pipestone is kind of the, uh, the conclusion of that series. And it's a little bit different, but when you put them in line, you can really tell that they're uh, all three the by the same designer. In your opinion, what's the odds that this the, the money be raised and it will be preserved and saved for another generation or two. You know, if you would have talked to me a handful of years ago, I would have said, you know, I don't know what, what's going to end up happening. We were looking at cost of maybe upwards of $3 million was estimated. Uh, we're lucky that as we went through that process, we found out that that's not the case. Uh, secondary to that is that it can be done in chunks. So now we've really focused on that roof and getting that roof structure in there. Now that price takes come down enough to where uh, it looks very likely that we should be able to either get some grants through the Minnesota Historical Society or from other foundations and then uh, it, I, I believe that our community will step up and make sure that that is taken care of. Why is it so important to Brainerd? For example, it's on the side of the police car uh, or the police cruisers and yeah. the symbol is, so that's where I'm going with this Dave. So why is, why is it so important to the city of Brainerd? You know, that water tower is so important because it really is a, it's a symbol of our city. It's become more than a water tower. If you really want to look at it, it wasn't a very good water tower. It started to leak almost immediately. It's had a lot of uh, times where it needed to have, uh, it be drained and relined with liners to try and uh, deal with some of the issues. But it's become more than that. It's not, it's not a water tower now, it's a monument. And uh, it really has become the symbol of our city. The nice thing about it is no matter what direction you're coming into from from any area into Brainerd you can see it for miles and it really has become this beacon I like to refer to it as the beacon of the north it really is the the sign that you've hit our city and it is uh, more than just a old building it is a structure that means a lot to us and it's iconic last question Brainerd's really evolved recently to really embrace history historians Carl's an example of this uh, can you touch on that to wrap up yeah, it, you know, with with Brainerd, we really have what I refer to as generations of history. And it's an area where you continually see the same names pop up again and again and again. And what that does is it creates a kind of a legacy. 
and it, in, it creates a sense of uh, individuals that want to learn about their past and their past is here. You know, their fathers, their grandfathers, their grandmothers are available. So when you get individuals like Carl Furt Faust, uh, who really is just a wealth of knowledge and he can start relaying that, to, that information to people, what happens is it just, it becomes this effect where people get super excited. And I think that's where we are right now is that these buildings have been around for a hundred years, but we're really starting to learn the history of what has happened in those hundred years and that starts to touch in uh, the human aspect of it where people start to learn that their relatives and their uh, heritage is tied up in that as well. They're telling the story the buildings are. Absolutely. All right Dave that's all I had. Thank you. I appreciate you doing this. You bet. Thank you so, so much. Really appreciate it. You know it. Very what good. a beautiful day. I love that you're <laughs> filming on. Uh,